I wanna share with you 15 short tips you maybe didn't know about using Zoom so that you can master the app quickly and maybe even impress your colleagues. Hello, I'm Tim and welcome to Level Up Your Video Skills. This video is targeted for the desktop version, though if you use Zoom on a device only, it's still definitely helpful to know what features are available on the desktop version. For more content like this, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start by hitting up the settings. Let's start with the general tab. Now the first three items on this list are very useful. If you've got more than one monitor, definitely click this. That'll put the meeting recipients on one screen and if someone shares their screen, it'll pop up on the other one. Enter full screen when starting or joining a meeting. If you prefer to have full screen, then click that. I don't. And thirdly, every time you join a meeting, all you need to do is paste into your messenger or email program to get someone else in. Don't even have to copy it, nice. For tip number two, we'll hit up the video settings. Radio. first thing you gotta do is definitely enable HD for better image quality. And for us people getting a bit old, touch up my appearance is definitely good to soften those wrinkles, I like that. Now for mirror my video, it can be a little bit confusing, but just remember it doesn't affect what other people see of you. People will always see your video feed as if they're looking at you in person. Mirror my video only affects what you see when you're looking at your own camera. Okay, so it's more intuitive to leave this checked, so I'll leave that checked. Now for those with a green screen, that's fantastic. Just hit that button and we're good to go. For those that don't, then Zoom will try and do some kind of keying in the background. As you can see, I've got a great bit of green picked up on my ears there. It doesn't do too bad a job. But if you can find maybe a blue yoga mat or uh, a green curtain, who has green curtains? <laughs> some kind of uniform color that is different than your shirt or your hair, then go ahead and use that. Let's just click a background here. Then you can select the color of your curtain that you've got behind you and it'll do quite a good job. Now just try and remember to make sure that curtain covers your whole screen or you're gonna have bits of black on the edge there. Another tip on using a green screen is try and light it up nicely so there's no funny shadows on it. Also try and have the camera on your device eye level with you so that the perspective of the green screen image behind you is a bit more believable. Now if during a meeting you need to step away for a moment and wanna pause your video so people can't see you away, um, it'll just come up with your name when you press the stop button. But if you wanna have a business logo come up instead, this is where you do it. So you wanna head over to the edit my profile button. That'll send you to the Zoom webpage where you can edit your profile, including uploading your business logo. Nice and easy to do there. If you wanna have someone always being displayed, you can actually pin the video so that when you go to gallery view, you always have them pinned no matter who's speaking. And simply to unpin them, you just click unpin. The next tip is about the mute button again. So you should be having that on mute when you're in a meeting if you're not speaking so that your background noise isn't being projected to everyone else. But if you want to talk quickly, uh, just for a short time, just hit the space bar and hold it down and then you can speak while you're temporarily unmuted. And then when you're finished, just let it go. You can activate multiple participants can share simultaneously. Now that's uh, something that the host of the meeting has to do, but what it does is it doesn't mean people are gonna have their different displays up at the same time. It just means that, for example, if you're sharing a screen and someone else is, other viewers can rotate between the different um, screens that are being shared. Let me show you that real quick, what that option looks like. As you can see, I've got Annie the mascot sharing the screen over there. Now, if there was another screen being shared, I would actually be able to come to this and select which person's screen I wanted to see at one time. So I can't see multiple screens at the same time as the key point here. Now, if I wanna share just a portion of the screen, that's an option available to me too. So I click share and then I can drag this to wherever I want. Perhaps I'm gonna put it on kite border here. This is my favorite sport that I love to do. And I've actually been to this place, Cook Islands. It's amazing. If you want to share your computer's sound, so you're playing a um, video clip or a slideshow with some sound effects in it, definitely want to click that. Another option to be aware of is ticking this box here. If you are playing a video from YouTube or from your computer, it's not letting me do that right now because I'm doing a screen record, but that's another one to know about. Another screen sharing tip is whiteboard. So that's cool because you can just treat it like a whiteboard. So you want to draw up some pictures. I'm not sure what I'm drawing here. Circles, cool. And you've got all your options here for different thicknesses, shapes, rubbing things out. 
So that's pretty cool as well if you want to do some doodling. So with record, you just hit that and all it's doing is it's recording what you're seeing and hearing. It isn't recording everybody's screen at the same time. It's just showing what you see. So if you're in speaker view, it's going to show that. If you're in gallery view, it's going to show that. Full screen, same again. And what you hear is what is going to be recorded as well as what you say is going to be recorded. So let's just stop that. And that'll be saved in your folder that you set up in preferences. So check it out afterwards and just have a bit of a play with it. Okay, a couple of points about leaving the meeting. If you want to leave the meeting and you're the host, but you don't want to end the meeting for all, what you're going to have to do is choose someone else to become the host. So I won't press change host just yet, but when you do that, that'll allow you to leave the meeting without leaving the meeting for all. If you've got the free version, then you're limited to a 40 minute time limit if you've got more than two people. Now, what you can probably do is tell all your meeting participants that this is going to happen and if it does, you get booted and then all you need to do is rejoin the same meeting with the same meeting ID or link and you're good to go for another 40 minutes. I really hope that's helped you out. And if you're liking this content, please hit the subscribe button here. And guys, if you've got any of your own Zoom tips you'd like to add, please put them in the comments um. below so we can share it with the rest of the world. Thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more Zoom how-to videos, please check out the full playlist here, Zoom tutorial series, or for the next one up in the series, click here. I'll see you in the next one.